Uh, Father in heaven, we thank you for the opportunities you have granted us to share your words. Help us to treasure these words and to abide in them, to do whatever you have asked us to do. Help us to prepare ourselves and our families so as to receive your seal. Protect us from the evil ones. Deliver us from the powers of darkness. Put your seal on our foreheads, O oh Lord, as we obey your commandments. For we pray to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Sister, Sister Lovet Mokonhuru. Welcome to Final Warning for Mankind. Okay, this um, channel is all about warning people about the signs of the times, how to prepare yourselves for the tribulations, how to prepare to receive the seal of God and not to receive the mark of the beast. This is what this channel is all about. So I want to welcome um, my friends that just subscribed recently. I pray that the Lord will richly reward you in Jesus' mighty name. Our aim is to walk in obedience in the word of God to study, to show ourselves approved, to live by the word of God and to do his will so that we can make it into the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ and his father, our father too. So I'm here to share a message that the Lord gave to me. Um, that was in 2017. I've been having this revelations about the ceiling, the ceiling, the ceiling. So I want to share this message. I've posted this message in my blog. That should be maybe around 2018 or thereabout. So I want to share this message with the latest one, with the most recent ones. It's like an update. So in 2017, I had a dream. I can't really remember the particular date because then Anyway, let me just continue. In 2017, I had a dream that I was outside my house and I was talking with some friends and then I saw fireballs falling down from the skies. And wherever these fireballs landed, they would burn up the whole place. If they land on the trees, they would burn down the trees. They land on grasses, they would burn the, the place. If they land on human beings, they would burn human beings. So that was what um, was happening in that dream. I myself, I was running for my life in that dream. So, as I was running, I was so scared. I was wondering, what is happening? What is going on? And then I heard a very clear voice, vivid, very, very clear and loud voice that says, we are in the sixth seal. We are in the sixth seal. And then I, I became very afraid. And then I woke up. As of then, I didn't know what was the sixth seal. I, didn't, I really didn't know what was inside the sixth seal. I didn't know what it was talking about. Okay, let us go to the Bible and see what the sixth seal is talking about. Okay, Revelation chapter 6 from verse... We're going to read from verses, six, I mean, from verses 12 to 13. And it says, And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal... And lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars fell, and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree casted her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. So when I read this, I was like, wow, this is exactly what I saw in my dream. And then I had to do further research. I saw that in 1755, there was a Lisbon earthquake. This earthquake cut across so many continents, Asia, Europe, America, and the rest. Okay. And uh, in 19th of May, 1780, the, the sun became darkened. Daylights like this brought the light during the day. The sun became darkened. 
the moon that same night turned into blood. Then in November 13th, 1833, the stars fell from the heavens, just like the Bible described, just like a fig tree. So that was a confirmation to this dream that we are actually in the times of the sixth seal. Yes, the things that are described in the fourth, um, second, third, and fourth seal, like famine, death, and all that, may occur. But in the biblical timeline, if you want to follow the chrono uh, chronology, we are actually in the sixth seal. Okay, so what is the relationship between the seal, the sixth seal, and the sealing? Of God's people. Now, after the sixth seal, the next seal is the seventh seal. And the, the seventh seal has the seven last plagues. I know what that means. So, you, we only have the sixth seal time between the sixth seal and the seventh seal, before the seventh seal. That is the only time we have to make amends. That is the only time we have to repent. Now, I had a dream. On the 8th of June, 2021, I was, it was, it wasn't like a dream, okay? It was like an interaction. Somebody came and was talking to me. The person said, it was in the dream because I woke up, but I don't know how to describe it. So the person came and said, I should warn people. I should warn people that we are in the final stages of the ceiling. We are in the final stages of the ceiling. This thing should enter into our heads. We are in the final stages of the ceiling. And that and the last stage of the ceiling is the ceiling of the families. The ceiling of the families. So when I woke up, I was like, ha, ceiling of the families. Final stage. The last stage. Why is it the last stage? Why is the final stage? Okay, I came to understand that. If, you, if every human being on this earth is from one family or the other, nobody came out from the bush, nobody came out from the ground. You came out from one family or the other. Even if you're a worker, even if you're in school, even if you belong to a church, you must come from a family. So you that is why the family is the final stage. Then I remembered, my mom told me a dream she had. That was in 2012. She said she saw angels. It was a revelation that the Lord gave to her. She saw angels coming down from heaven and they were holding something like ink on their hands. They were going about putting mark on people's faces. She said they went to schools, they went to banks, they went to churches, they went to offices and they were putting marks on the faces of people. So when she asked them, she was just fooling them about, when she asked them what they were doing, they told her that they are marking they are marking the children of God. Those who are obedient to the commandments of God. Those who are obedient to the things of God. Those who are living in holiness and righteousness. That they are marking them on their four heads. And it was like, what happens after this? Don't worry. You will see. So, that she said when the angels, they came to a place to mark people. If there are 100 people there, just few, about five or more, you know, something like that, for an example. People that they marked were so few. So after marking them, they counted them, the numbers were there, the names, and they went straight up to heaven. When they got to heaven, they, they handed over everything to Jesus Christ. And uh, a pronouncement was made like it is done or it's finished, something like that. Like everything's you know, and then a time of grace was taken off. Okay, and then judgment came. Fireballs were coming down from heavens and destroying everywhere. Destroying. If you see death, if you see cops on the on the on the ground, many people died. All those who didn't have the seal of God on their foreheads, they all perished. All died. She was crying and begging and saying, "Have mercy, have mercy." They told her that. The time of mercy, the time of grace has passed. This is a time of judgment. These people refused to repent. They were living their lives. Now, something got me. These people were busy living their lives. Anyhow. 
They didn't know that something is taking place in the spiritual realm. That is the main th message here I want to bring out. Something is happening. You cannot see. You see, the ways of God are not physical, okay? Yes, in those, when something happens in the spiritual realm, you, you see the results in the physical realm, okay? But it's not going to be as weighty as the one that has taken place in the spiritual realm. Something before anything happens in the physical realm, it must happen in the spiritual realm. So, the result of that judgment and destruction happened already in the spiritual realm by sealing God's people first. So, these people, according to what, what according to what she said, they were busy living their lives normally as if nothing was happening. But Angels of God were busy sealing people. So now, how would you know that angels of God are sealing people if you are not being told? How would you know that this is the time? So then something happened. When I woke up from that, my dream, I told you that they said we are in the last stage of the sealing and we are sealing of the family now. I remember that my mommy said something about last stages of sealing. I remember she mentioned family, but I couldn't place my hand on which one was the last or which one you know so i had to call her when i called her we were talking about the signs of the ends and everything and i told her that uh, and i reminded her about the dream she had about the ceiling she said hey yes yes you know she now started telling me about the dream she doesn't even allow me to talk <laughs> she doesn't even allow me to even Tell her my own dream first. That's the way she behaves sometimes. She 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 first of all said all everything about her dream. And then behold, what did she say? She said that she was told in that dream, 2012, that the final ceiling, the final stage of the ceiling would be the ceiling of the families. <laughs> wow. Wow. Would be the ceiling of the families. And now. I don't know. Let's connect the dots. Now, I am being told that we are in that final stage. Count from that year, 2012 to this year, is how many years? And we're in the final stage. We don't have much time. I'm not, I'm not placing dates or time or anything. No, I don't do that. But I'm just trying to, you know, use my human understanding. Okay, I know I'm not supposed to do that. But from all indications, we don't have much time. If we're in the final stages, then you know what next? It is the final test. I shared a dream. Look at it. Look for it on this YouTube page. I shared a dream about the final test that the Lord gave to my sister. The final test. She was asked to go home and prepare for the final test. That that is what is coming. And that test is the test of the mark of the beast. That is the only test that will try everybody on this earth before the second coming of Jesus Christ. And if we are living in the time of the final ceiling, that means we have entered into the time of the separation. The separation between goats and sheep. The separation between tares and wheat. My brother, my sister, if you hear the word of God, the truth, believe in it. Obey the Ten Commandments of God. Walk in the Spirit. Avoid sinful lifestyle. Pray for yourself and your family to be sealed. I remember throughout last year, most of the messages I got was about the ceiling, the ceiling, the ceiling. Not knowing that this is the stage that we are already in. That was why God was telling me, talking to me about the ceiling, the ceiling, the ceiling, the ceiling. The other one was that we should pray for God to seal us for the time of trouble that is coming. The other message was, a time is coming when grace will be taken out of the earth and all hell will be, all hell will break loose. When the Holy Spirit, you know, when grace will be taken out of the earth and all hell will break loose. No more time for repentance. I call it the probation time, the end of probation. Now we are still in the time of probation. If you do good, you... It may be sealed and your name will be written in the book of life. But if you continue to disobey and that time of probation ends, when in, the, in, 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 in heaven, the Lord Jesus Christ will end his heavenly ministration, his heavenly ministry. Then, just like it was said, it is done at the cross of Calvary, it will be said it is torn in heaven. 
And by the time it is done in heaven, Christ is no longer mediating for you. Right now, we have the opportunity to repent and to come to Christ. Because why? We have a heavenly high priest. We have an advocate. We have a mediator. 1 Timothy 2.5 says, There is only one mediator between God and man. The man, of, the man Jesus Christ. You can go to him now cry to him and your sins will be forgiven what about when it is when he says it is done it is finished just like when the angels goes up with the numbers that are sealed what happens to you let us read revelation chapter 7 okay why should we be sealed why should we be sealed let us read revelation chapter 7 verse 1 he says, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hot not the earth, that's verse 3, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servant of God in their foreheads. Hot not the earth, nor the seas, nor anything in it, until we have sealed the servants of God on their foreheads. God is not going to remove. God is not going to allow the wind to blow until God's children are sealed. The plagues are not going to come. Disaster, the worst disasters are not going to come until God's children are sealed. Why? So that they will be protected. Let us go to... Um, Revelation chapter 9 verse 14 and see Revelation, Revelation 9 14 it says okay let us start from verse 13 Revelation 9 13 and 14 and the sixth angel sounded and I heard a voice from from the four con from the four horns of the golden altar which is before God saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet lose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates let us go to Ezekiel chapter 9. Ezekiel chapter 9. Let's start from verse 1. It says, He cried also in the... Sorry, let's go to verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark, <laughs> set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for the abominations that been done in the midst thereof. Now I want to say something. It's not just enough to keep the commandments of God, to refrain from evil, to live holy and a righteous lifestyle, but also speak against evil that have been done in the land. Be a watchman. Warn people about the destruction that is coming. Verse, two, verse 5 says, And to others... And to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him to the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. <laughs> and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Now, what happened here? A mark was set on the forehead of those who cried and mourned against evil that had been done, the righteous ones, the ones who are obedient to God's commandment. Then after that, what happened? Destruction. God says, go and do what? Destroy Utterly those who, those who don't have my mark, including children. That is why the Bible says, warn them, warn the families. If you are a man or a woman, husband, wife, teach your children the ways of the Lord. Teach them the ways of the Lord so they can receive the seal of God. Don't say they are children. If you are evil, you don't teach your child the ways of the Lord. What happens? Don't say that. Look at what the Bible is saying. Everybody will receive the seal. Young, old, rich, poor, you receive the seal of God. If you don't receive the seal of God, you do what? You receive the mark of the beast, which is the opposite of the mark of God. Yes. Disobedience to God's commandments is opposite of obedience to God's commandment. It's as simple as that. Now, look at what happened here. Immediately after the marking of God's children, the sealing of God's children, destruction came upon those who did not have the mark. 
now see Revelation chapter 9 verse 4. It says, and Re Revelation 9 4 says, And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Praise God. This is the reason why we should be sealed. Because judgment is coming. Pray. Be obedient to God's commandment. Do his will. Live according to the Holy Spirit. Don't walk according to the flesh. And the Lord will seal you and your families. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to post the other Bible text on the description box. Please, this video, as long as I'm consigned, as far as I'm consigned, is one of the most important videos for now. For now. So please share this video. Many do not know the times we are living in. Many do not know how we have, how far we have gone. <laughs> there is no time. After the sixth seal, what is the next? The seventh seal. And at the seventh seal, probation has ended. Time of grace has been taken away. And we still not know it. Okay, just there's, because there's no time. The Bible says that that. It will, it, it will be like the days of Noah, when men are doing what? Eating and drinking and living their lives normally, like normal ways. And then what comes? Noah entered into the ark with the family. They were sealed. Noah and the family were sealed. They were protected. And then destruction came. That is how it's going to be. Don't wait for something very big to happen. No. Something is already happening in the spiritual realm. That is why I praise God for his revelations. He says in the book of Amos 3, 7, he says, Surely the Lord does nothing without first revealing it to his servants, the prophet. Please share this video. Share this video. Let people know the time we are living in. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe. Share this video. I'm here to share mostly about warnings. Not to receive the seal of God, but to receive the mark of the beast. This is the time we are living in. Very soon, the mark of the beast will be enforced. That is just, there's no, very soon. We are already in the early stages. We are in the beginning of sorrows. Very soon, the mark of the beast will be enforced. And finally, everybody will be separated. And you know the group you belong to. It is my prayer that we are going to be among the sheep. We are going to be among the wheat. And not among the goats and the tares. In Jesus Christ's mighty name I've prayed. Amen. Please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> like and share. Thank you.